We're here at the second workshop for the Big Data VR Challenge, and it's the first time we've actually got an opportunity to see what the teams have been working on. Today has essentially been a massive video conference. The studios are located all around the world, in Australia, in the Netherlands, in Canada, and of course across the UK. Um, so it's been a way for them all to present back to each other the work that they've done so far, and get help and feedback from the other studios as well. Start off with the presentations, really looking forward to seeing what your thinking is and how things are going. We've got two big experiments going on at the moment. We've got the big data stuff that you guys are working on and then trying to do this as a virtual workshop, which is quite interesting in itself. This is basically our proposal, is to build a dynamic VR genomics graph. So it's got to be able to do discovery, so it's got to browse the data that's available. And then what we're suggesting is some kind of query builder in VR. We've uh, isolated all the questions we had over the past month and a half. Um, and establish what was possible and what wasn't. We've created the uh, network platform. Um, we're able to seamlessly switch between modes. We're using the uh, viral group shell concept the Mark Adopter. Figure that is, you know, gives you uh, a, a visual kind of context just how, how much data there actually is there. And then what we're actually doing there is, is using the, the pages or the case to visualize data. So over the past month, having been given a brief outline of the project and access to our data, the team have gone away and today was the first time we had seen um, what they're planning to develop and it, it has worked beautifully. They come up with some, some novel approaches, particularly to visualization. And there's also um, Opaque working on uh, a method of collaborative working to help our staff work with scientists to help them navigate through the data that could be available. I was very excited today by the concepts that were being presented and I expect that we will be able to implement at least one of them for, for each studio with real data. Looking at the work they've produced today, I think the teams are absolutely nailing it in terms of what we're looking for. So far it's looking very promising. So we're about halfway through the challenge. The studios are now going to iterate on their initial ideas and hopefully by Develop Conference in July, we will have some actual solutions that people will be able to experience in a, in a VR environment.